Example 16, x plus 4 cubed. Well, x plus 4 cubed means x plus 4 times x plus 4 times x plus 4. And I'll start by multiplying these two x plus 4s and get a result for that and multiply that by the last x plus 4. So when I do a FOIL over here, I get x squared plus 4x from the outer and plus another 4x from the inner. So that gives me an 8x, x squared plus 8x. And then I get a x plus 4, x plus 4, so that's a plus 16. So I have x squared plus 8x plus 16. And that's multiplied by x plus 4. Now I have to multiply each of these three terms by each of these two. So again, let's be systematic. We'll start with the x squared and multiply x squared times x, which is x cubed, and x squared times 4, which is 4x squared. Then I'll multiply the 8x by each of those. 8x times x is 8x squared, and 8x times 4 is 32x. And then I'll multiply the 16 by each of those. 16 times x is 16x, and 16 times 4 is 64. And then I combine like terms. The x cubed is the only x cubed term, but I have a 4x squared and an 8x squared. Those combine to give me a 12x squared and I have a 32x and a 16x. Those combine to give me a 48x. And then I have the 64 on the end. So that's my answer. x cubed plus 12x squared plus 48x plus 64. In example 17, I have x plus 2 multiplied by 4x squared plus 6x minus 3. Again, I can't do a FOIL because FOIL only works with binomials, but the main concept of multiplying polynomials is that each term in one polynomial gets multiplied by each term in the other. So I'll start with the x, and I'll multiply it by each of those three. So x times 4x squared gives me a 4x cubed. x times 6x gives me a 6x squared, and x times negative 3 gives me a negative 3x. Then I'll take the 2 and multiply it by each of those three terms. So 2 times 4x squared gives me a positive 8x squared. And then 2 times 6x gives me a 12x. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then I combine like terms. 4x cubed. Here I have a 6x squared and an 8x squared. Those combine to 14x squared. And I have a negative 3x and a 12x. I combine those and I get 9x. And then I have the minus 6 over there left by himself. He has to stick around in our answer, minus 6. So 4x cubed plus 14x squared plus 9x minus 6. And the last example is long. We'll only do one of these. It's long, but it's not hard. You just be systematic. We're going to multiply the a squared times each of those terms. Then we'll multiply the 3a times each of those terms. And then we'll multiply the negative 5 times each of those terms. So here we go. We'll start with the a squared. a squared times 2a squared is 2 a to the fourth. Then a squared times negative 5a is negative 5a cubed. And a squared times the 6 is a positive 6a squared. Then we'll do the 3a times each of the three terms on the right side. 3a times 2a squared is 6a cubed and 3a times negative 5a is negative 15a squared and 3a times 6 is 18a 
and then we'll do the negative 5 times each of those three terms. Negative 5 times 2a squared is negative 10a squared. Negative 5 times negative 5a is plus 25a. And negative 5 times the 6 is negative 30. So I have nine terms there. And I have to combine like terms. And that's really not too hard. I start with the 2a to the fourth. It's the only a to the fourth term. Then I have a negative 5a cubed, and here's another a cubed term, a positive 6a cubed. Negative 5a cubed and positive 6a cubed give us a positive 1a cubed, and we leave off the 1 as we write it. Then I find a squared terms. There are three of them, 6a squared, a negative 15a squared, and a negative 10a squared. Those add up to negative 19 a squared. And then I have some a terms. I have an 18a right there and a 25a. And those combine to 43a. So I write, and that's a positive. I write plus 43a. And then the minus 30 there on the end. And that's my answer. two a to the fourth plus a cubed minus 19a squared plus 43a minus 30.